When working with Trello, have you ever wished that you could make a connection between one or more cards? Have you ever said to yourself, I wish I could connect this card with that card over there and show some type of relationship or maybe even a card which exists on a different board? Well, today I want to show you three different ways on how you can make that connection between different cards, including a recent new feature in Trello, which makes this so much easier and also very visually appealing. So let's start with the traditional method. I'm going to open up this card and at the bottom of every Trello card, you will see that there is a share and more area. Every single Trello card comes with a unique URL. So here you see I have a link to this card area. And if I copy this, if I just copy this URL to my clipboard, I'm going to close this card. I can go over here to a different card. I'm going to open up this one and I'm going to paste it into the description. Now at this point, it looks like just the nasty sort of complicated URL here. But once I hit save, Trello recognizes that it is a Trello card. It gives it the Trello icon. And now we can see it in its natural state. We can see the actual title of that Trello card. So it sort of stands out from everything else on this screen. And when I click it, it'll take me directly to that Trello card. That's great. However, you will notice that we actually haven't made a link between the two. All I've done at this stage is I've added a link to this card over here so I can access this card over here. So I, I, I've got sort of a one-way link between the cards. Let's take a look at another way in which we can make a connection. In the comment section of a Trello card, you can see that we have four different icons. We have the ability to add an attachment. We can mention different members on this board. We can add emojis. And the last one allows us to add Trello cards. So if I select this option, we get a new dialog that comes up and we can either search for a card or board by name or Trello will also show us the most recent cards and the most recent boards that we have looked at. So this can be very convenient. So in this case, let's find the one that we were just in. This is that create a new product for small business customers where we've created that link to this card. So in this case, I'm going to select that one. It's going to bring it into the comments section. And of course, I can add further comments if I like. But in this example, I'm just going to hit save. Once again, Trello converts it. So we have the Trello icon and we have the title of the card. So now I can click on this and go directly to that card. And here's that previous link that we created. I can now click on it and go back. So now we've created a bit more of a relationship, right? Now we can go back and forth directly between these two cards. But there's an even better and even easier way in doing this. If we click on the attachment button, Trello has recently added a new feature. Now you're familiar with adding attachments from your computer or other file sharing services, but now you see we have a Trello option. So if we click on Trello, we get the same dialog that we saw before. We can either search for a card or a different board, or we can select some of our recent ones. In this case, I'm gonna, I'm gonna select this uh, uh, look into buying more storage card here. I'm gonna select this one and look at what happens this time. This time under the attachments area, I actually get a snapshot of that card. I get the title, I get the due date, and any other icons that would appear on the front of that card will also show here. It also shows me uh, which board it is in and what list it is in, all directly here from within my card. So if I click on this, I'm going to go directly to that card. Now, we've yet to make an actual linkage between the two. So I'm just going to hit the back button here for a, uh, for a second. Let's go back to, uh, to this card where we've attached that card. This is where this connect cards link comes into play. So if we want to create an actual link between the cards, I'm going to select this option and it's asking me, do you want to relate both cards. Would you like to also attach reorganized social media images to this other card? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to collect, uh, click the relate both cards button. And now 
I've got this type of attachment. I've got a true linkage between the two cards. If I select this, it's going to take me to this card. And here you can see this is where we've just come from. I can actually toggle back and forth between these two cards. You will also notice on the front of the card there is a new icon. These are Trello attachments. And these differ from traditional attachments, which are identified by the paperclip. Now, this number one just references the number of attachments. It doesn't mean that these are necessarily the two that are related because we could attach or we could create a link with cards outside of this board. We don't have to just create these connections within the board we're working with. So let's go back to this one. I'm going to show you another example where I can actually attach a board itself. This time I'm going to come down here and select this board. And now you can see I get a new image, this time representing a board. So if I click on that, I can go directly to that Trello board. If I come to the front of the card, now we see that that number has increased to two because I do now have two Trello attachments. So if you have not yet experimented with Trello attachments, I would encourage you to take them out for a test and see how they can help you to be more efficient and productive while using Trello. I want to thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, be sure to give this video a like, leave me a comment, and subscribe right here to Simpletivity. Remember, being productive does not need to be difficult. In fact, it's very simple.